it involves Illustrator mainly, but I mean you can use logos for anything, so this is more of a logo tip. Here we are looking at, and I'm in Illustrator CS3, These this tip does not work as well in CS2 because of some issues with uh, grouping and isolated uh, object mode or isolated group mode, but in CS3, say you have your logo open, I have the something atomic logo here, when I click it you can see that it's all grouped because grouping is a very good thing to do when you're developing things that have way too many pieces and you don't necessarily want to well you don't want to use the pathfinder and combine them or do anything fancy like that you just want them to be attached to each other but be able to move them later so what you can see is that these are all attached to each other but this clearly is not one object because it can't determine what the fill is because there's multiple colors and everything so there's different things going on here the tip is if you want to be able to go into a group it acts very much like a movie clip does in flash where if you double click it you'll go into the group and you can see up here that I am inside an unnamed group and then when I double click outside it brings me back out of that group so if I need to get into this file and say move something around I would double click and now I can grab the pieces parts of it without having to ungroup it move it and then regroup it so if I move the words up here and then come back out of the group it's still grouped as a whole and it'll move however if I just double click and go back into it I can now move individual pieces whereas if I clicked out here and edited the whole group the whole group would move and this works on many levels because if you had say all of these things were grouped I'm just hitting uh, control G to group things and then you had another object and all of these were grouped you would see that the whole thing moves as a group but if I wanted to go in and edit it I would double click into it and now I'm on the first level group where all of these were to attached together but this was separate and then if I click here and double click you'll see I went into the second level where now this is separate but these are still grouped together and then if I double click into this you can see that I am now in the third level group where all of these originally resided. So using this method you can develop very complex things that are nested together very easily without having to use weird clipping masks, other pathfinder techniques, things of that nature. And then when you're done all you do is just double click back out and you're out of the groups and everything's back attached to itself. Works very well for layouts should you be doing a layout in Illustrator though you really should be using InDesign and uh, there you go that's your quick tip for Illustrator grouping and using nested groups and isolating the objects you want to isolate uh, stay tuned for more videos hope that helped